Hi guys, welcome to part two of the Quantize Settings tutorial. In part one, we took a look at the default settings, and we made those the defaults so that LoopTree would feel familiar as compared to other loopers. But I actually find sometimes the Quantize settings get in the way. I find when I'm recording, I have to think and make sure that I don't come in too soon before my recording has started and chop off the start. So I actually spend most of my time with the quantize settings off. And then I also turn on enable overdub and perform action on touch up. And if you're not familiar with those last two settings, check out the recordings tutorial. But now let's have a look at how LoopTree behaves in quantize free mode. So firstly, the first loop is the same regardless of quantize settings and you have to be accurate. So what I do to get better accuracy so I rest my finger on rec and then I just lift it up when I'm ready to start recording and I almost immediately put it back down on rec so that again at the end of the recording I can just lift my finger up and I find that's the most accurate. And I almost immediately... So let's record a first loop. Okay, so now let's look at uh, layered recording. As a recap, when you make a layered recording, it makes a new loop that's the same length as the loop you've got selected, or layer you've got selected. And then it starts overdubbing that new loop. And if you think about that, it actually means you can press rec at any time you like, because it's just going to start overdubbing silence. And then you can make your recording, and again, at the end of the recording, it's going to just continue overdubbing silence. So you can be very relaxed with when you start and finish the recording. So let me demonstrate that and I'll exaggerate it a bit. So you saw I came in early and I went out late. And if we dive into that layer, you can see that the new recording is the same length as the existing layer. So you can actually use layered recording as a shortcut for making a new recording that's the same length as an existing one. And then you can use two fingers to drag that new recording out and organize the layers differently. So now let's have a look at normal recording. And with normal recording, you have to be a little bit more accurate with when you start recording, but it still doesn't matter if there's a bit of silence at the beginning of the loop, because LoopTree uses the recording length to determine what the loop length is. So that's why you don't want too much silence at the beginning, otherwise it'll think you wanted a longer loop than you actually wanted. But there's still something you can do about that. So when you make a normal recording, you see how the recording keeps growing in length, keeps doubling in length. So at some point, it's going to be at the length that you want. And at that moment, any time within that window, you can press rec and it's going to switch to overdub mode. And that will then lock the length at that particular length. And then much like layered recording, you don't have to worry about when you finally come out of recording because you can just let it overdub silence at the end if you wish. So let me demonstrate that now. So hopefully you saw there that I came in a little bit before the upbeat and then I let it record. And then once the recording was somewhere near that final loop length, I hit rec again and it went orange into overdub mode. And then I finished off recording the rest of my loop. And then I didn't actually come out of recording until it had already wrapped around. So I could be quite relaxed about that. And you can imagine using layered recording and regular recording, you can still use it with an instrument because you don't have to immediately press rec and then be playing. You do have a little bit of leeway on it. So that's why I love LoopTree in quantize free mode. You can mix and match the quantize settings depending on what you're trying to do. Have fun playing with that and keep an eye out for the next tutorial. Thanks for watching 